Hello again, and welcome back to Legally Cited. This is BGFH, and I am back for another Low Vision Spotlight game video. And this time we're looking at a game that came out fairly recently as I'm recording this, a week or two ago. And I'm still really trying to get... wrap my head around it. Um, we are looking at a game called The Surge. And... Basically, this is a sci-fi Dark Souls kind of a game. Now, you know, it's really funny that I've played a couple of these, like, um, you know, not Dark Souls games, or Souls-like, as people are starting to call them, but I really haven't tried the Dark Souls games themselves. I own one and two. I don't own three yet, but I got one and two on a sale at one point, and I wasn't sure if I should start with one, or I think two is maybe a little more forgiving or a little bit more polished from what I've heard. I don't know. Um, but this game, The Surge, is made by the same company who made Lords of the Fallen. If you remember, probably a couple years ago at this point, I covered that game. And a lot of people really, I mean, it, you know, it was a decent attempt, but uh, Lords of the Fallen, people really didn't think the gameplay on that was really that fluid. So it was actually kind of... Uh, it didn't really get the best response. Um, and I can kind of understand why. Like, I didn't know if it was just me. I mean, I wanted to like it. There were things I really did like about it, but it felt really slow and almost had like a cumbersome weight to it. Well, The Surge, uh, everyone is saying that it, you know, I'm just going by what people say, you know, compared to Dark, Dark Souls, because, like I said, I haven't played the true brand of that type of game right now but um everyone's liking the speed and like the fluidity just the overall mechanics and stuff about this game better and i would like to say that i'm getting better but i really don't know that i am you know like i said i'm not a veteran of this uh type of game so i am going to do terrible um just a fair warning but for those unfamiliar, a Dark Souls or a Souls-like, as people are calling them, basically it's a third-person hack-and-slash kind of a game, melee game, but it's not, well, it's not a hack-and-slash, though, by any means. If you do that, you're going to die in, like, two seconds. It's really methodical and focused on, you know, like, one or two guys, one or two enemies at a time. As a matter of fact, I hate when there are even two enemies nearby because a good way to get instantly wrecked in this game is for you to be fighting a guy and all of a sudden you hear kush, 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 and then psh, somebody hits you from behind and basically one hit kills your ass. So yeah, that's not fun. Let's just jump right into it here because that's the only way really to do it. I'm just in a pause menu right now, and this is basically what your main menu looks like. Oops. So, you know, it's very clear, very, you know, text is easy to read, no problems there. What I will say as we go in, so we're in basically our kind of a safe room here equivalent. This is our guy. We're in this uh, power suit, this uh, crazy, like, exoskeleton, exosuit. And I kind of almost want to show you the beginning of the game. One thing that I was really surprised about, and no, no one talks about this, and I don't know why. Like people are like, "Oh, the game is good. The game, you know, the, the gameplay is great. Yeah, which is great." But when you start out, you know, you're on the way to work. You get this new job at this. I forget what the company is called now, but basically they're doing all kinds of futury stuff. And you almost have this like Mark Zuckerberg kind of guy talking some stuff. But when you get ready to control, take control of your character, um, this Warren guy here, you find out, you know, they kind of hide it with the way the game looks at the beginning. But then when you take control, you find out you're in a wheelchair, um, which I thought was really surprising, but really cool. And, you know, one of the first things he comments on is, you know, when you get in this suit and you get this little hologram in the other room here, I'll show you that here in a minute. But uh, he's like, hey, I never thought I would be able to walk again. So basically, you take this job, um, you choose this, uh, 
you know, you basically you choose between more of a light and a heavy class. I first tried the light class thinking I might be better at speed. I think I like the heavy class better. I, I don't know really as of yet. Um, it seems like I do a little more damage, but that might just be in my head. Um, but so you wheel yourself in, you choose one of these, uh, you choose one of these paths and it's actually really gnarly, man. Like you, you get strapped to this thing, this like bed and these robot arms basically come and like drill you. I mean, he's like screaming, um, as they graft him to this exosuit. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, there's blood flying and stuff. I mean, it's like, oh, God, would I pay that price to walk? I don't know that I would. I don't know. Because that looked like it hurt a heck of a lot. So, we got our, we were looking at Warren here, our dude. Actually, that was that was purely accidental, but that that's uh, not bad looking, you know? I mean, the graphics are pretty good, you know, but a nice, uh, nice, uh, character shot I'm hopefully hopefully I can get that as a uh, thumbnail for the for the video uh, so like I said we're in a safe room here is our basically upgrade station now if I go in here early on what you like when you you wake up so you you get operated on and then you wake up no not knowing what the heck is going on you're out outside in some dirt path area and there's robots saying that, hey, you have been targeted. You need to be disassembled. I'm like, eh, no. You pick up the nearest uh, melee implement and bash the hell out of these drones. And then uh, it's on. Uh, a couple minutes in, you find this safe room. And you go from there. The first thing you have to find is a power core from an enemy because you apparently have... Yours was all messed up. So I've got, I have a power core... And it looks like my level on the right there is 22. Now, I haven't figured out exactly how all this stuff works. I even just accidentally, I kind of overlooked something early on, and I feel really freaking dumb. Because I think when I came back here, I forfeited a lot of uh, scrap, which is kind of like your currency in this game. Because I thought when I was just hitting A, I thought I was actually just depositing it at all. And if you look at the bottom there, it says press Y to bank the scrap. So like, if, if let's say that I need 100 scrap to do something, but I only have 70. Well, I can't do anything with it, but if I leave and I don't hit Y to bank that scrap, well, then I'm out that. And I think I've been doing that for a long time. So yeah, I feel really dumb. And I probably should have looked at the tooltips and stuff a little bit more. The text in these, uh, there's just, I like the combat stuff in these kind of games, but like, I don't really like, you got to compare all these stats, you got to figure out, so basically your core power is what affords you to put in these implants and use different parts of your suit. So everything takes core power. Um, I've got a few implants here. I've got a couple things that will let me in like injectors where I can inject myself with health. Um, so basically, you know, like in Dark Souls, people compare it to the Estus flasks, which is like you get three of those every time you go to a save room, you recharge, you basically get three heals. But in this, it seems like I've gotten a couple of other types of injectors. So there's, a, there's one that's instant and there's a couple that are over time. Then I have an item equipped that kind of does this beep and vibration. It's almost like a homing beacon when I'm nearby something in the environment, which I, I kind of wanted to save it for something else. But, you know, as a low vision gamer, that is actually kind of helpful because there has been a couple things I've just walked right by. And like, oh, there's a little thing tucked in the corner over there and I didn't see it. You know, some extra scrap or a, a Nero mod or not Nero mod. I'm looking at Prey again. Um, you know, but something that I can equip. So we're going to leave it at that for now. I haven't really figured out much of this yet. So we're going to back out of here. And then we have another little place over on the other wall here. And this is where we can, we get blueprints. 
for weapons and armor and stuff. And I still ha I haven't completely wrapped my head around this, so again, I can bank scrap here as well, which I just recently did, because I want to save up enough scrap to where I can either craft something or I can upgrade something. So I've got a few different weapons here that I've found or that I've collected off of enemies. And that's an interesting mechanic. So let's get into the actual gameplay here. Actually, I'll show you the... Here's the hologram lady that I was talking to you about earlier. She won't tell me anything. Yeah, good for you. And it's really funny, like, I actually don't mind, I've, other, I've heard other people hate this song, but like, you, you go in here, and you hear this, just this weird, uh, would you call it country, like almost like a f country folk kind of song, and this song just loops over and over in the save room. It's just a really weird, weird choice. But it kind of works for some really strange reason. Um, I, can't, I don't know. I kind of get a kick out of it. All right, so let's go. Now, Remember, safety at work is our highest priority. yeah, yeah, this place is a freaking mess. I bet, you're, I bet you're all about safety. So typically you have a heavy and a light attack. This game you don't. You have a horizontal and a vertical attack. One thing I kind of don't like is it uses the right bumper and the right trigger. I kind of like face buttons for attacks. I don't know, like, I'm not used to putting my, you know, using my hand um, to attack with a bumper. To me, that just feels awkward. And I guess, like I said, that's the way all the Souls games do it. That's the way um, Lords of the Fallen did it. Now, I'm going to go back through an area that I've already been through just so I can show you some of the basic combat and hopefully not get my ass kicked. So, <clears throat> there's a pipe here, and there's an area over here. Now, I've opened up a couple of shortcuts. So, again, one of the things about like the Souls games and this type of game is that you're going through these areas, and you're finding all these interconnected paths. So, eventually, you know, like, the only place I could go was basically this way. Um, but then as I loop around, eventually I unlocked a little door on the, from the other side here, and then I could get back here, and then I came back and moved forward, and then I wrapped around more, and I found an extra door that way. We'll go there in a little while. So, okay, mechanics, mechanics. So another thing I can do, I have a lock on, and when I'm locked on, I can use my right analog stick to point at, this is a huge part of this game, I can target body parts, so the head, the torso, uh, left and right arm or legs, so different limbs, and what that allows me to do is there are on enemies there are some parts that are not armored in some cases, there are some parts that are armored, so obviously not ar unarmored body parts are going to be make the e enemy easier to kill. However, there are times where you really want to attack the armored part or an arm because he has a weapon or a piece of armor that you might want to craft so what you want to do is you sometimes you want to target that body part and then you want you have a health bar you have a stamina bar there but as I fight enemies you fill up a third bar in the upper left where and here you can do these finishing moves and I, for whatever reason, I haven't gotten, I don't know if I'm just not, the, the timing isn't right, or I don't know, but I, I haven't been really getting the finishing moves to consistently work, so I don't know. Um, I wish I was a little better at that for some reason. Like, the, the bar would be full, but it's just, a, it, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to keep, you know, I try to do it, you hold down your finisher, and then whatever. But uh, when you hold it, when you do a finishing move and you're targeting a certain body part, you have the chance of ripping that part off and getting the blueprint or getting that piece of equipment. So I might get a blueprint for a helmet or this weapon that I'm carrying right now, I ripped off of a guy. Uh, you're going to see these, this weapon from, on the enemies all the time here. 
but uh, you know you're gonna see um, you know I, I early on I ripped that off and I've been using this weapon so let's go fight some dudes now sometimes this guy he just doesn't wake up right away wake up baddie all right so target him I'm gonna target your head Okay, now those guys are pretty easy because I've leveled up enough where both my my core and my weapons class... So you have different classes of weapons, which I haven't really unlocked many. I pretty much just have a one-arm thing right now. But uh, you have different classes and you gain weapon proficiency the more you use your weapons and the more you enemies you kill with them. So we're going to go around this corner here. And just like any Souls game... Enemies come back whenever you use a whenever you go back to your safe zone. So, you know, you have to weigh like okay, how much how far can I get away with um before I really need to go back and recharge because all the enemies are going to come back. I want to get as far as I can but not screw myself over. So when you die, you know, again just like Lords of the Fallen Souls games um except for this one you have a chance to go pick up, you keep all your weapons, but you lose all of your scrap. So in order to get that back, you have to f go to and find where you died and pick up that stuff. But in this game, you only have a, it's not, it, it's not until you die again and then you lose it all. That happens, but even collecting it, you only have a certain amount of time, like a couple of minutes. So you actually have to book it pretty quickly to go and get your scrap, otherwise you lose it. Okay, we got a guy back here. Wakey, wakey! Come on! Come on, you bastard. There you are. Alright. So those guys are easy. The next guy we're gonna kill, these are the primary guys that I've been fighting in this area. So the next guys, these are the guys that are and what, you know, Dark Souls, those games are really focused on a lot of bosses. From what I hear, there aren't that many in this game. I've seen the first boss in promo footage prior to release, and it's a doozy, and I'm not looking forward to fighting him. But I like the approach that this game takes. Is like, there's not a lot of bosses, but instead, every enemy is treated like it's a significant encounter. Like, if I, if I don't pay attention here, this guy can wreck me. Ah! Almost instantly. Okay, I gotta back up. No. Yeah! How you like them apples, buddy? You're dead. Alright. So I haven't taken damage yet. Knock on wood. We're gonna keep on going. And I'm familiar with this area, so I kind of know where and how many guys there are. Okay, this, yeah, come back here, because this guy, you know, you worry about these other guys, but then these little ones can sneak up behind you, and like I said, they can wreck your day real fast. Hey! Bah. That was unacceptable, son. I'm going to use a healing item here. Okay. We got a guy over there. There should be a guy over on this other side, too. I'm baiting him. That's why, like, I don't want... See? There's that guy there. If I would have rushed in, that guy would have come from behind and just slit my throat from behind. Okay, I'm gonna... Hey. Butthead. Get your ass over here. I want to take one of you on at a time. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, this guy, this guy is, this guy is, oh, okay, he, you're all about, uh, hopefully that other guy didn't see me. Okay, I'm gonna back up, my stamina's getting low here. Oh no. Hey. <laughs> yep. Alright, boom. Yeah, I'm getting powerful enough where, as long as I don't screw myself over, as long as I'm careful, like these guys... I'm essentially grinding, like, I should be way farther in this game right now, but, 
you know, as low vision, like it's, you know, it's been a little bit harder reading some of the stuff. You know, it's been a little bit, you know, I've, I haven't been able to read some of the telegraphs, you know, for their tax a little bit. And I've just kept dying. And uh, so I'm kind of just power leveling myself. You know, I mean, this game might be one of those where, oh, you know, if it takes somebody 10 hours to beat it, I might take me, you know, <laughs> several hours more just because, you know, I'm playing this a lot more methodically and going through and just re just grinding my way through this area. Hey, buddy, I got to show you something. So that beeping, that is, oh, geez. Hey! That is un, oh, geez, that is unacceptable. You need to perish, is what needs to happen. Okay, we got that. Now, I happen to know there's another guy over here that I can usually take out pretty quick. So I'm going to go back this way. Kind of easy money sort of a thing, hopefully. Hey, buddy. And I'm going to target that arm. Oh, God. No. Yeah, how you like them apples? All right. So I don't know what the heck it's talking about. It's beeping like crazy, but there's nothing here except for this lift here, which there's nothing really up there, so I'm just going to ignore it. Actually, I'm going to pause. I'm going to turn my game up a little bit because this is a game where I really want to hear the sound effects because I want to hear mainly footsteps. Like when I hear... Especially if I'm trying to fight someone, and then I hear, doosh, 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 I'm like, oh shit, there's another guy coming. And he is there to ruin my weekend. So, I think I've cleared this room. Now, this, you, basically, you're, you have to get enough core power in order to, and I'm not going to use this because I don't have enough. Otherwise, you, get, you, you try to overload the circuit, and you get zolted. So, we're not going to do that right now. I'm nowhere near uh, powerful enough. I'm like halfway there, not even. Now, so here is, if I go this way, remember that pipe down by, by the staircase where we came out of our safe room? There we go. So there's the first shortcut that I've unlocked. Now, I'm going to try to be greedy. I'm going to try to get a little further and kill some more guys. Basically, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get to the other shortcut. We're going to bank our scrap, and then we're going to go back there, and I'm going to go to places that I really haven't been very much. So all of these areas here, I've been here before. I've killed everybody in these rooms. Okay, here, chonk, chonk, chonk. Oh, balls. Where are you, buddy? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I really, that, that, that beeping is annoying. Come here, buddy. Huh. Hey! You're a little bugger. You're not supposed to do that to me. Oh. Hey! That guy just wrecked my weekend there. He made me use two healing items. That was not cool. Let's switch to a different thing here. Oh god, Jeebus. See how he just doosh, 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 run toward me and... Okay, we're gonna... Yeah. There we go. Alright, see now I've gotten powerful enough to where... As long as I play it straight enough, I can kind of... Beat these guys fairly well. Okay, how is... Uh, health is good, okay. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm at. Here's where we came from. Again, we're going to take this nice and slow. You do not want to rush into an area in this game. There's been times where I'll be walking. You know, I won't even be running. I'll be walking, and literally a guy will just come out from around the corner, surprise the hell out of me, and take a just a really cheap shot at, like, cheap shot at me and take more than half my health in one fall, in one hit. So that can happen. Hey, duder. 
Okay, I'm gonna back up. Yeah, you're mad, aren't you? And now you're dead. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, I happen to know there's, let's see. There's one more, at least, oh god, okay. Ah! There's one more guy right here. I was gonna say, I think there's one or two more guys in that area. Okay, let's back off. Get my stamina back. Yeah, he's pissed. How you doing, son? And now you're dead. Awesome. Now, I really need to be... See, the problem is I need to be doing finishing moves because you get a lot more uh, scrap that way and you get parts. And I think that's where, like, my defense is so crap. Because if I bring up my character here... Let me see if I have anything. I don't have anything to put there. Nor there. Okay, I can put something here. Uh, let's see. See, now I think I don't have enough... Do I not have enough core power? Why can't I... So 12 out of... 20 core power um tech scrap health tw health 90 see that's the one thing I'm not quite I have something but I can't I can put that on, but I can't put that on. Well, you know what? Let's at least put that on because it'll give me some protection. So it'll give me some protection. Can I... Can't use that. Well, I may as well put that on. I'm going to be look, a, I'm look like a freaking monstrosity here. I've got, look at this. I've got like mismatched stuff <laughs> everywhere. But you know what? If it gives me if it gives me armor and it gives me bonuses, then guess what? I'm good with that. Uh oh. Okay, I hear a dude. Uh let's see, I gotta get my bearings. Where the hell am I? Okay, there is where I came from. I hear another footsteps here. So yeah, and you click the right stick to lock on. All right, I really, really should go back and bank my scrap. But there's one or two more dudes over here that I kind of want to kill. And I hope that, Christ, this doesn't backfire on me. Oh, that's just... I know there's two guys in here. Hey, bud, come here. Yeah, you see me. You know what's up. Uh, uh oh, uh-oh. Back up. Okay, yeah, you're gonna do your spinny thing. I'm gonna dodge. Ow! Dick. I'm gonna use my heal. Just to be safe. I'm gonna go take this guy that's banging his head against the wall over here. Hopefully I can kill him. And then we'll bank some scrap. Buddy... Okay, we're going to back up. Oh god, that's not good. That's not... No. Okay, you're dead. Whew. Okay. Well, you know what? We killed him. I don't know what it's bleeping about. I think there's something up, up top that I need to get. So, here is a room where... Now we need to go this way. Now I'm going to book it through because I don't want to fight these robots, these these drones real quick. Get the hell out of here. We're going to go to my Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're going to Oh, you're going to make me, aren't you? Oh, you're going to So now I do got to fight them both. Damn it. Come here. Hey. Come here, you damn drone. Ow. That's uncool. All right, now we're good. 
I certainly do, lady. AI lady. Alright, so what we're going to do... I want to see if I can upgrade. I can't. But I'm going to bank all this scrap. So we earned a lot of scrap. Can I bank any here? Okay, we're going to do that. Oh. All right, 24 now. Okay. Well, now let's go to some place where I haven't been all that much. So I, up until now, we've played where I've... I'm very familiar with that territory. Now we're going to go back where we just came from. Because... You know what? I'm just going to run. I'm not even going to fight you guys. Because I don't want to... You take little pot shots off my health. And as long as you don't follow me... Please don't follow me. So we're going to go over this way. And we got to watch all this toxic waste here. Yeah, health and safety. Yeah, this company is all about health and safety. Now, there are drones over there. I'm trying to lure this guy over because I don't want any bit of this other those other drone business over here. I want to kill this guy, and then I'll go fight the air drones. See, I don't have any ranged attacks, which is kind of okay because I prefer melee. Except I kind of wish I had a way to get that guy's attention. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to hopefully that gains somebody's attention. Well, I might just have to go over there. See, I, thankfully I just banked all my scraps, so... Oh, God! Ow! Could you... Stop shooting me in the back, please. Alright, I'm gonna heal. Ow! Hey! But, okay. Oh, man. Please die. There's one more. Uh oh. Uh, that, that, yeah, that kills my attack. It's like an EMP or something that affects my suit. Okay, you... My sensor's going crazy here. I don't know what you're going crazy about, but... Uh, it's going super nutso here. All right, so grab some. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I grabbed another blueprint, I think. Something. So now, well, that, yeah, that didn't really go that well. So now I think, yes, there are some steps up here. And I have not been up here yet, because I kept getting wrecked by those guys down there. So we're gonna take this very slowly, like. You see. And I don't like being in really, really confined areas because... Oh, Jibus. The camera, like, it can get kind of stuck up on walls and stuff. And then it can be really kind of hard to... You know, it's, yeah, I've died a couple times just because the cameras just went totally wiggy on me and I didn't know what the hell was going on. So I killed one guy. Okay. Somebody's banging their head again. Clearly this, this thing has made people insane. Like, because all these guys, these are like workers or something, I think. Okay. I want to, okay, I want to break these boxes, see what's... Uh oh God! Okay, there is something over here. Great news, guys! We finally got the audio log. Assembly unit down here, and not a moment too soon. The old one was spitting out worse trash than what you put in. For now, though, you'll have to manually unlock the schematics on your local accounts, at least until they update the interface. The rest 
is business as usual. You know, pick what you need. Make sure you got the proper materials and hit OK. If you say so, sir. <laughs> okay, I think I want to go over here. I think. I don't know. Stairs. So this is a different staircase than I just came up. I'm going slow because, like I said, I don't know who's going to pop around the corner. Like that guy. Oh, you're a drone. Hi, how you doing? Hey, 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 you, you, I don't know how many more you is around there, so I don't really want to. All right, frick it. Okay, that guy's dead. Ow. All right, I guess I'll heal. All right, so we got a couple drones dealt with. Uh, I have never been here before. Presumably there's some... Something spiffy, ah. So that is kind of handy, you know, that can be kind of a handy little perk that I have, but sometimes it can be obnoxious. Oh, there's another, oh, are you another drone? Uh-uh. Ow. Alrighty, that hurt a little bit. Um, okay, now we got some more Dear, where the hell am I? Like, I'm trying to see if there's any, like, shortcuts that I could open up. Okay, we got another guy. Hopefully only one. Gonna go slow, because I don't want to... I only want one guy at a time noticing me. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh. Come on, you gotta notice me. Uh. Alright, F it. Oh, balls. Yeah, see, this is... Okay, this is where I'm fucked. He, uh, see, now I'm dead. Two guys. I could have fought the one. I knew there was going to be another guy. That always happens. And now I got to get to that point. Or I lose all my scrap. So I got to haul ass. That went all kinds of bad. Okay, let's go over here. I don't care about your stupid ass lasers. Ow. You only shot me in the ass there. Okay. Get out of here. Get my stamina back. So now I gotta go through all this again because I haven't figured out a shortcut. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that guy's dead. Oh, back up. Ouch, that's... Okay, that guy. See, and then I'm dead. I, I rushed in because I was trying to be cool, trying to be a hurry. Look at how quickly those drones took me down. So now that scrap that I had before, I lost all of it. All those guys that I fought before... I lost, and instead, now I just have to get back to that one area 
and that one enemy that I killed, that's all the scrap I get now. I lost on all of that stuff in my last run. So that sucks hard. We're going to go over here again because I want to see... I'm pretty sure there's an objective over there somewhere that I need. See, and I want it, I'd like to lure that guy. And we got to watch out for this damn poison. All right, so I'm going to heal. Ow! See, I've already had to heal, what, twice now? Okay. Okay, you're dead. Now, where is my corpse? Okay, we got that. And we picked up something else. So, yeah, like I said, this run... Little sloppy Joe. Let me see if there's another... I want to get into that other area because I want to find out if there's another way that I don't have to go through this stupid drone crap. Like if there's another door that I could open somewhere. Because I don't like being about that poison. and I, just, I don't like that little area that we just were at. Okay, we got this guy. And I know there's going to be at least... Ah, gee, but that was not what I expected you to do. And that hurt. A lot. Dick. Alright. Okay, well. I guess I better heal again. Like I said, en enemies in this game are not trivial. They will wreck your day. Like, you know, one hit can take off easily half your health. So, yeah, that can be a big problem. Okay. So, remember, there's drones out here. There's at least two or three of them. All right. No. See, now I'm wrecked again. I hope that doesn't actually hurt me. I hope it just stuns me. I know their lasers hurt, but... Okay, you're freaking dead. Yeah, okay. Oh! Come here. Stupid-ass drone. Get. Alright, so, let's get my stamina back here. Before I go to where I died that one time... I want to look, so I went up there, those stairs. Let's look around. And see. Okay, that's where that, that's where that uh, item was before when my sensor went off. I remember that. See, what's over here? Please tell me there's a way out of here. Please tell me, like, I can find... I have a feeling... So, right now, I'm trying to power up something. Because there's a part where there's, there's, like, this really dark area. And I think I'm trying to find a generator or something. But, um... I think this is where the boss is going to be. Because I remember this, this area sort of looks familiar from based on, like, my, um... Like when I saw that preview footage. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's find out where this is. So I've unlocked a door. And I'm going to let this guy come over to me. Because I don't know how many of your buddies you got hanging out in there. I know there's a bet you at least there's one. Because you're trying to lure me in. I'm not having it. Uh-oh. I thought I heard a guy over to the left. Oh, 
wait a minute. I think. Hey, Dippus, get your ass over here. Yeah, you. Uh, all right, he sees me. Come on. Come out here. You dip. I don't want to fight you in your... I want to fight out here in the open. Ugh, see where I can do that? Ow, and not that. Oh, that's bad. Frick, man. I... Oh, my God. I am just playing sloppy. I hit my attack instead of my dodge, and then... Ugh. All right, where the hell was that? So I could go... See, I could go back all the way through where I was. Something tells me, though, there's a... There's somewhere through here that I could go instead. Let's go this way, because I opened up this door, and I want to figure out... And it was in this dark area somewhere, so... I want to figure out where that was. So here, when I come in this entrance, I always got to be careful, because there's a guy over there, but this guy over here can almost always... I've gotten killed from this guy several times, because he'll see me from behind and just slash, my, slash me. Oh, see, now this... Yeah, that guy's... So watch this. Watch how quickly I'm going to die. I'm just going to let him kill me. Boom! All kinds of bad. So that's why I never rush into these situations. Because I swear to God, any more than one enemy, any more than one, Have a nice day. to me is like an instant death sentence. Like, I don't know. I'm physically incapable of dealing with more than one enemy in this game. Well, that was a, a spectacular failure. Let's see if we can at least figure out... Come here. See if we can at least figure out where that door that I opened just was before I wrap up the video. I would like to know like where I died that one time. I want to know... No! He got one good hit on me. Well, didn't take up too much health. Still not pleasant. So we got that guy over there, but I know for a fact... So I gotta watch what that guy's doing, but I know there's a guy right over here. Yep, see, he's running. He saw me. That's, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to lure that guy. Uh, no... Come on, there you are. Uh oh. See, now they're both here. Frickin'. Okay, I didn't even see what happened. The camera just went nuts. I tried to dodge. Instant death. That is one of the things that annoys the crap out of me about this game. There's a lot I, I really, really want to like this game. And I largely do. But let me tell you, shit like that, where, like I said, the camera just, it zoomed like down like this. I was in a corner. I was stuck. And that's all she wrote. Like, it literally took probably a half a second. And I was instantly dead. I had like three quarters health. And I had the little tiny minion, and then that guy with the weapon that I have. And they just rocked me right away. So where is my... Uh, okay, shit. Okay, that guy saw me. I'm gonna dodge, judge. 
Okay, you're dead. Yeah, look at that. Right there is where I died. So I collect my stuff. Not that I had much, but... Alright, so I'm gonna... Hey! Tweedle Dingus. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go over here. See, this part right here, I don't like this... The way this little area comes in because it's such tight quarters that I can't manipulate the camera very well. I don't feel like I can. See, and I don't want to get that glowy guy over there. I want to get the... Oh, Jetta! Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Okay, you get your ass over here. Only you. Oh, I should have backed off. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, well, the guy's dead. I, I could have played that a little better. So I know there's this guy. I don't think... Yep. Yeah. Ah! You bastard. Alright, definitely healing after that. Ho oh, ho, good thing he died after that. Okay, I'll grab whatever that is. So I want to see in this room here somewhere. I wonder if there's a, a door that I unlocked. Back up. Like I said, I'm playing too aggressively, and that's what's killing me. Like I said, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot button mash in this game. Or you will get your ass severely handed to you. Okay, we got a guy over there. Let's dispatch him. There we go, I love doing that. Uh-oh. Oh, uncool, brah. Yeah, sit down. Oh my god. All right, so I want to figure out where. I still don't know where that door was. It seems so familiar, though, because I, I think, or I thought I knew. Oh, wait, was it in that other room over there? Is that where it was? No. We'll find it. There's a guy over to the left, but we're going to kill this guy first. Come on, bud. I know you see me. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to get out of the way. We're going to let our stamina bar return. And then we're going to... I'll take pleasure in getting you, boy. There we go. All right. And we got Tweedledum over here. Oh, jeez. And back the heck up, because he's not having it. All right. Oh, crap. Didn't have enough stamina. I went in a little bit too... Or I was a little bit too eager there. Okay, so it wasn't over here. Um, That's fine, though, because... I can explore this area again, which I'm a little bit more familiar with. Yeah, so you know, here is where... I could go down and it's really dark. So I think before, there's a guy that's calling for help down there. But I think I gotta turn the power on before I can free him because the door won't open. So I think that's what I was on the way to doing when I died earlier. When I walked up those stairs and got ambushed by those two dudes and just instantly got wrecked. 
but I will let me go. I maybe God maybe that'd be cool if it was back in this room here. Because if I wouldn't have to go through that room, if I could just unlock. I want to know where the hell that door is. Unless it's not somewhere where I've already been. That's possible too. Oh god. Okay, you. Whoa. Hi. Hey. Hey. Camera. Be hit. Ouch. Oh, that's gonna not be good. Okay, I need stamina. And you need to die, sir. Alright, we have health. Let there be health. Okay, that's that thing where I need that power. Oh, it's not going to be here, is it? Damn it! I don't know where that door is. It's maybe somewhere totally new. I guess I'll work back to the save room, see if we can bank some scrap, and then we'll call the video. But I want to see... I don't usually go through this area this way. So, I... It feels weird to me. Okay. Ah! I Let's try another... Yeah! Finish him! Oh! Bastard! And then your buddy comes in. Alright, that was not Q. The, and... Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. I think I might die here. At least I know right where this is, so if I do die, I can go back and get my corpse. Uh-uh. Oh my god, I'm just playing bad. Okay, that guy's dead. Uh, you know, I would go over there and kill that guy, but I just gotta f stay alive. You know what? I'm not even going to go over there, even though they're easy guys. I'm going to go back this way. And I'm going to go back to the shortcut here, because I don't want to lose my scrap. I'd love to be able to update my weapon that I have, but I just don't have enough scrap to do it. Welcome, Warren. Thank you, lady. Alright, so let's... No, can't upgrade it. Hmm. Alright, so I banked it. Well, I'm going to have to go through it the other way and just figure out where the heck... I'm going to have to go through those drones, I guess. But I think we're going to wrap up the video. No boss battles or anything, but at least you get to see the combat. You get to see some of the basics of the game. I know we're not very early, we're not very late in. This is basically the very first area of the game. <laughs> but I'm not very good at these. Um, they're games I really want to like, you know? Um, I love Melee Combat. There was a game that I haven't covered on the channel yet, because they did release it on Good Old Games a couple years ago. There was a game that I played, I think, and it was ahead of its time. Um... In the early, I don't know, like 2000s or so, maybe 1999, 2000, somewhere, there's a game called Severance Blade of Darkness, and I probably have mentioned it probably, probably in the Lords of the Fallen video. Um, but that had a lot, I would say, a, a bit in common with these types of Souls games. The, um, the main thing is you didn't have, you weren't collecting Souls. You know, you didn't have this mechanic where you died and you had to get back to your place. Oh, shit. You know what? I better... Um, oh, I gotta get back. Oh, wait, no, I did I just banked it. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say I just died. No, I didn't. Um, but, uh, you know, they didn't have the mechanic where you died and you had to get back to your body. But, like, the combat itself um, felt very similar in a way, you know, it wasn't, you weren't fighting, you know, hordes of the same guy, um, you know, it wasn't, it didn't play like a double dragon, and it didn't play like a, um, 
you know, a regular just butt, oh crap, button mashy hack and slash. You know, it was a lot more methodical. You fought one or two guys at a time. Uh, and the more you fought, like I said, the, the quicker you, the, you just had this chance of just being instantly destroyed. And um, so, yeah. Anyway, that is the Surge. I would, if you are into these types of games, and especially if you like the sci-fi setting, it's kind of refreshing to do something that is not the traditional, oh, here's orcs and... You know, your, your medieval kind of, uh, or your dark fantasy kind of a thing, which is fine, but, like, I'm glad they tried something different, you know? Okay, yeah, take a sci-fi thing, and it makes sense. You know, you've got these exosuits, you've got these, you know, the parts, these weapons, they almost sound like, they almost seem like they're, like, mining materials in some cases. Like, um, the equipment that you're getting kind of makes sense in what you're doing, like in the environment that you're in. So, <sighs> yeah, other than me being terrible at this game, uh, these types of games, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm hoping that very soon, I'm hoping that I can, there'll be something, maybe there'll be an ability or there'll be just something that'll just click with me uh, and I won't die so frequently. Um, and again, I, you know, I got pretty good, you know, going through that main area there, but it's just, like I said, if you literally, if you get two guys on you at once, you just instantly get wrecked. And I, you know, if I, like I said, if I would have, like, I went up those stairs and then I, there was that one guy I was trying to bait out. And then that one guy just crashed through and just, they killed me. If it would have been just that one guy, I probably would have been okay. But, um, yeah, I would recommend it. It is a very difficult game. There doesn't seem to be any difficulty settings. So be prepared for quite the slog. But if you like, if you, you know, want to try one of these types of games, um, seems all right. So that is The Surge. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.